Okay. Uh, please turn on one. You cannot hear me clearly, and uh, I will rephrase again. Okay. And uh, so I'm speaking basically to all our viewers uh, who uh, who is attending this lecture. If uh, there's anything I said and the uh, tool is unclear, I will I will tell about it again. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. In that case, I think we can start. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So well, today our lecture is about shape, and uh, we know actually shape is a huge topic. I hope you understand this a huge topic. Um. And uh, okay, I, on my side, uh, as a start, I first want to actually try to theoretically, from a theoretical perspective, to let's say, let's go into specific little by little, okay? Because, you know, say, goal is basically like our mini life that's on, this, uh, that's on this goal board. Yeah, that is actually like a mini life. And we know that in real life, uh, let's say, the most important issue for us. Is basically our house. It's not money. It's actually our house. Okay. And if, for example, we say we earn a lot of money, but yeah, our life is not here, or we don't have a house, that doesn't matter. I want to say on the goal board, it is cinema. Okay. So this is the number one issue. Okay. And when we say on the goal board, uh, um, let's say we know that there's the opening, there's the mid game, and there's the end game. Okay. We start normally in the opening, in the early state of the game. Uh, let's say it normally wouldn't uh, refer too much about life and death and related topic, right? Yeah. So uh, in that case, then let's say in the early game, we normally concern about how to play efficiently, and so we can we we can concentrate on that, and that is actually opening. So we normally do not talk too much about shape. And then when we come to end game, end game we normally say, well, unless it suddenly come to something refers to life and death. Otherwise, it has nothing to do with shape either, because that is the part we say, whenever it works, that we can get more points. Yeah. So end game it normally doesn't refer too much about shape, unless it may suddenly come to something refers to life and death. Okay. So mostly for our lecture today. We are talking about two parts. One, it is the, the middle game shape, or the mainly the shape we are talking about. And the second part is a special one. It is actually about when it comes to left and death related. The shape there. Okay, but please remember the shape in left and death is different from the normal shape we are talking about. Okay, I, okay uh, let me just uh, try, because here I can see we have like seven viewers here. Uh, about the only thing I have mentioned is that all clear. I just want to make sure you can speak to me, to me and you can talk to me. Okay. Okay, thanks. Okay, good. Okay, good. Thanks. Okay, in that case, I will continue. And when we come to the next part, the next part is still the theoretical part. And here I want to ask one question with because we first talk about middle game shape. Uh, regarding middle game shape, and I have mentioned. Remember, let's say to us, the most important thing is our health. In the middle game, it is the same thing. We normally say in the middle game, groups are our first consideration. Okay, point second. Okay, so I'm, I want to ask, what are the factors? What are the factors we need to consider about safety on the, uh, on the board? Let's say, what are the factors on, on the board that can affect our health? Factors we need to come to specific. Okay, liberties. Okay, that's very good. Groups have to have a base. Okay, I need to further ask a base for what? Go further. Group stress. How do you define group stress? You need to go to specific. Go further. I space. That's very good. Okay, can anyone tell me a third one? A third one can be harder. <laughs> yeah, no, in total three. It doesn't matter if uh, you cannot tell the third one. But can you give a try? Give a try. Okay, that's what I'm going to tell. So, three, you can mention two already. Leaders. 
buy ships. And the third one is connection. Yeah, imagine I have one group. Okay, I just need to concentrate on this one group. Does it have legal issue? How many the ownership does it have? If I suddenly get separated, then I have two groups, then basically my, my work is suddenly done. That will be difficult, right? So three words is I ships, liberties, and the connection. And basically, when we talk about a middle game shape, once we concentrate on those aspects, okay, we concentrate on those aspects, normally we will not be able to find the shape. Okay, that's the point here. Okay, and that's a theory. And now we come to examples. Okay. All right. So this is the first situation here. What has just played with this novel? Hmm. I don't want to ask about moves yet. I want to ask after white novi, what black should concentrate at? Yeah, what black should look at at this moment? Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when we talk about connection, I uh, suppose we need to concentrate on the talking point specifically at G13 in general, right? G13 cutting point. Yeah, all right. So here, G13 is our concentration, and the question is, how to defend that cutting point efficiently. Okay, please remember earlier I have mentioned three factors. Uh, I shapes, liberties, connection. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Yeah, that does connect, but you know, G14 has one problem. Okay, I will, I will show G14 here. Uh, you play G14, it's connected. And that also means the opponent knob here to save that stone is Sene, right? Because he's aiming at to cut you off, in which you need to actually answer again. So like this black is all connected, but black is whole group doesn't have enough eye shapes. So I'm saying G14 is not bad, but G14 is not efficient enough here. Mm. Okay. Anyone else? Ah, so G14 means I directly got, got eyes and uh, want to cut me off, go ahead. That is the meaning. Mm, but still, that's not efficient enough, okay? Because here, let's say, basically, when you say G14, you are saying concentrate on connection. When we are doing D14, we are saying we are concentrating on I shapes, okay? I will actually show you what has happened in this game, Black next move, and I guess you understand better, okay? In the game, Black played here, do we understand it? Literally in, in this case, yes, but I can still cut there, cut off from yeah, black at G13, but that is no longer a cutting point that can affect the black group. That will be a minor problem that only refers to the G12 one single stone. Yeah. Because here, let's say, when we are talking about that cutting point, to defend the cutting point itself, is actually not our point here. 
Our point here is to make sure our group is settled. Not like we want to do everything possible just to make sure that cutting point itself can never be threatened. Yeah, here it is like we are defining that cutting point to serve forward. We have the intention. Okay, I hope I hope this is understandable. We have already intention there. Yeah, it's not it's never like I do this forward, we're just doing it. <laughs> it's just like we're going to store forward. I don't know, I'm just going to store. <laughs> it's never like that, right? Yeah, so we are keeping the cutting point to take care of this group. So this one is kind of taking care of the cutting point already because the cutting is no longer threatening black group. That's the point. But this one, what is this one? I guess you notice those two store, right? So this one is taking away our liberty from those two stores. And uh, that means, okay, I can show this game a little bit further in the game, white turn. White turn here, so to keep attacking this black group. Uh, and now black block. So after black block, this is Senate because now the two stone can be ladder. Yeah, next, those two stone can be lettered. So white right, will need to respond. Okay, and now black can either A to get out or B to leave. So basically, although black may pay, uh, may have paid a price, black has earned a move, black get a Senate. Okay, uh, and uh, so next move in the game, jump down to keep attacking the three stones. Okay, I guess you'll see the point earlier why black play. This one is efficient. Because this one is definitely the cutting point. And also give that two stone pressure and the to actually get the benefit from wider shortage of liberties. Remember, I mentioned, yeah, I mentioned connection. There's also liberties. And to get liberties for what it is eventually to get this move, so potentially B exists. And the black, we're gonna get enough. I shape it. All three factors is short here. Therefore, here, that's a shape. Okay, I hope this is understandable. All right, I'm just saying, yeah, so this is our very first example, and gradually we come to something maybe slightly harder, but also more fun. And in general, this is our direction. Remember, keep in mind those are the three factors you need to concentrate on in order to find the shape. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now let's come to the second example today. Okay. Okay. And this this is the game shape here. And I want to show a little bit further. Game. In the game, actually here it is like this. And so black is actually attacking white and right side of the store. At this moment, and in the game, White has decided to to uh, honey here and cut. So to black cut black off and attack black black center three stones, and that is what intention. Can you see how here White may have a problem, and Black actually use that problem to help his own group. Great. Um, could you tell me a variation after Q8? What are you thinking about? Uh, you are making yeah yeah exactly yeah. So you are basically want you want to do squeezing. Mm, squeezing is comfortable, but you know what? Okay, I will show this one. Squeezing also means, are you mean, do you mean this one? Or you mean the other one? Or do you mean, oh, this one, okay. Uh, this one, you did make what an ugly shape, but uh, in practice, it's actually very much like those two stones, you give that a stone here, and so it take away a black liberty. So it actually does something harm than good. 
inflow, you may get a little bit of territory on it around the red side. I uh, think about the other one. Okay, let's maybe look at the other one. The other one, it means this one and then so here you squeeze, right? I guess Chelsea means here you squeeze. Yes, this one. This one is comfortable. Yeah, and the white shape is ugly. Once again, in practice, uh, it didn't really hurt too much for black center group, but it gave white a certain nice stone, which means in the future, white may get a base here compared to our starting shape, which is this. You can see here, red side is still empty. So even if, for example, white play a stone, imagine white play A, say, I want to get a base, black can easily play B. Yeah, so here, the fact that here is, when white a separate black, white group, he himself is not very strong yet. And uh, this one feels comfortable, but uh, it actually makes white stronger. I hope this is understandable. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, both shape I understand. Yeah, white shape is ugly. It is ugly, but in practice, actually, white is the one who actually can from this ugly stuff. Mm. Ah, okay, I'll take away those. If you don't mind, I want to actually give a suggestion here. Uh, please pay more attention to what the bottom shape. Um, I can tell that this is actually from uh, my teaching game. And uh, yeah, I play against one of my best student. And here I intentionally overplayed as white. And I actually expected him to punish. And in the game, he punished me very well. <laughs> Something like M4. Okay, let's do it slowly. Yes, the first move is M4. And then Red Honey, what's next? Three means uh, here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you right. Yeah, you right. Yeah, there's much black. Right? Yeah. Ah, stinky tofu. Okay, I'm sorry. You just uh, come over. Well, I just have a suggested less focus at my board. Okay. Okay, but here I can see that here someone has mentioned about a cross cut. Okay, cross cut is good, but okay, I still want to keep asking Han Hyu. Sorry, my, my pronunciation, pronunciation might be wrong, but let's continue. So if I attack from here. Yes, okay, so here you can see it is important. The whole plan is actually about this stone because the white intention earlier was to cut black off in the center and attack, right? Either black can capture that stone, then black get a connection. Black can make the center group strong, and then black can no longer attack it. It will be a black success, okay? So it's here, if well, that stone is captured by the fail, so white has no choice but to connect. Yeah. I'll continue. The then extend, yes. Okay, I have to attack from here, and he extend again. You can see now black is attacking this stone. But look at my group at the bottom after this whole process. They are in shortage of liberty, right? So basically here at this moment, I have no choice but to let black capture that triangle. So, 
So like this, why the steel get to separate black center? But the black center like, capture like this, it is very strong, but can no longer attack it. So Hangi, you are pretty strong. You are not 4Q. Am I right? I don't think you are 4Q. <laughs> Yeah, and my student played exactly like this. Ah, okay. Your sense on shape is better than that. Yeah, because you directly said cross it. I appreciate. It. All right. So here, okay, then you can see our plan here is actually about that cutting stone. Yeah, this stone is our focus here. So our plan is to use white needs to actually keep that stone there and use the white process in short of liberty to actually make black group strong. So this is the way here. When we do the cross cut, we actually know that black already have a stone here. We know that is the case here. So we are not afraid. So even white cut right here, you'll cut here. Yeah, now you can make the exchange and they will run. One will need to deal with the bottom crisis. He cannot care about the center, and a black black group will be strong automatically. Yeah, actually, in the game, uh, after black uh, after black, this I can show a little bit further because now white can hardly attack black center. So and white happen to have the P two decent. So white say, I'm gonna threat. Your corner. We are also to avoid that double honey at Q8, so that squeeze variation to happen. So in the game I played here, and you can see my student punish me very hard here. So he played this one. I have to take liberty, and he cut. And now I have to go back. So you can see, yeah, yeah. In the end, it goes like this. This is really not like. Why is actually attacking this A group, right? Yeah, so this is your way to use shortage of liberty. Yeah. Well, I also said that the corner is not alive, but now black can so black can go back to the other corner. And the corner is fine. It's mainly more okay. I should I'd better show a little bit further here. Uh, uh, so if black, for example, at the bottom, we know that this occurs, mm -hmm. and if black has the block from here, remember this block is the name. Because if white say, I'm gonna take your corner, all right? Now you turn, Atari, connect, then what? This is, so that is why we say, actually, put the corner, Black corner is safe because actually black has a stone here, kind of. I guess that's clear. <laughs> yeah, so when black just in the game, black block block here, black corner is safe. Yeah, so here we need to, yeah, you can see here, this one, I guess uh, we all know that black here is sunny, but we may not really notice this by sunny. Okay, so this is actually, yeah, we need to pay attention on the, this kind of shortage of liberty shape. People may easily think that this kind of shortage of liberty problem, and then this one thing decide the game. Yeah, you may say, I played, yeah, many of my students have actually complained to me in the past. I think I'm, I'm better than the opponent. I think I'm a stronger player. I just didn't win. I lost in the end. All right? He told me. <laughs> how, did he, how did he kill him? Well, I missed a shortage of liberty shape. That's what happened. So when you know those kind of shortage of liberty thing, you miss it, that directly decides the game. And then the rest of the game may not even matter. And that is why that's something we have to pay attention on. Okay, I hope that's all clear on this second example. <laughs> okay. Okay, now let's come to the next one. Uh, this is again from my student game. Just this time, the opponent is not me. Okay, and this is from his tournament game. So this is the situation, and you can see actually what happened on the top right corner. So white has uh, something captured. So at this moment, black has a clear lead in the game. But I want to remind, 
Big very last move jump looked like a nice shape, but actually black was scared. Yeah, black this jump was scared. Can you find what I should do next in order to make the game complicated? Three. Okay, let's see if H3 can make it complicated. So H3 here. Mm. Here the point is uh, can white the, uh, make black disconnected and that is the point here. Uh, with this shape, I think if white black just do this, it's difficult for white to separate, right? Because for example, you say I still want to separate. And you need to defend here, but I don't think here you can defend this one. Yeah, the side stones has some problem. He may want to try this one instead, but then he has this one. So he just uh, on after the four. Yeah, I guess those are the possibilities. So this one probably doesn't hurt it too much. Hmm. But okay, this one is one of the key point. Okay, so here we first actually should tell about theories. Ogima shape. We want to separate Ogima shape. It is true we need to concentrate on A B here. Yeah, so A and B are the key point, and so yeah, let's say I can see both has been captured. Uh, sorry, both has been mentioned, and the rest uh, is the harder part, but you have to read it. But the whole game machine we want to separate is A and and here let's say B is correct. This one. Yeah, but here it refers to reading because basically here what well, black want to maintain connection two ways. So black put here. Why we're gonna kick this one important. And we can see that like this clearly is cut off. Okay. So let me talk about this one. So we need to be very decisive. But push and cut. Okay. This looks like a suiciding, but we're gonna cut off from here, right? Decisively. Well, maybe we're going to pay a heavy price, but then black left of that will be captured. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, they did. Uh, did I show too fast? Or should I slow down to show it again? Is it too fast? I'm sorry. Okay, I will. Okay, I will show one more time. Sure. <laughs> okay. So. If black push from here, while the kick is important, and black can only try this one because we said this one he cut off. So he can only try this go down. Okay. Push down and cut. Okay, this is important. I guess you notice at this moment, those two stone is in shortage of liberty. It only has two liberties left. We can't capture it because now this is the Atari. So black capture white at the bottom. But because he's in short of liberty, we can cut him off from here. So, okay, I may show a little bit further. Also be the other way around. The other way around will be this moment black noted. Okay, crap, I'm in trouble. So he ran, then we get a big income. We first get a big income and the black will still need to run. Wait a moment. Uh, five. Instead of F2, let's see. 
is that all? Let's also do it. Sure. But that means the white will gonna cut off from here. Black will run, but the first the black is cut off. There's no connection, and the black group still need to run. So it's similar. Black first the payout price, and the story is not over yet. A five. Hmm. Okay. So this one, we push Atari capture Atari connect. Everything look good, right? But connect cut. It's not connected. Yeah, this this is a possibility. Another possibility will be what well, I may also put here. Uh, but this is not so good, huh? This one means the black may just finish the story here. You can only capture the two. So yeah, that, this is the only way. So it's not connected. And actually, white can play slightly more accurate by when you say this one here, yeah, here here first. Then do this. Yeah, because like this, actually, black may also have a liberty issue. Well, not saying like this, black will die, but black will still gonna worry about this group, and there can still be complication because this is the only thing white can do. But in any case, white already has gained at bottom. We need to admit actually here, at this point of the game, this situation is very difficult for white. Yeah, this is reality. But I agree with the fair play that uh, this variation probably is the one black should choose than what he did in the game. Because in the game, yeah, you might be surprised. Uh, in the game, black is an eight down player. And facing to this, and he actually has a lot of time, and his choice is this one. So he paid a heavy price just uh, to run. I'm sorry, I think he chose what, what, yeah, what exactly he did. He probably did this one. Yeah, so he paid a very heavy price at the bottom. Yeah, so I think, yeah, fair place variation is better than this one. So, in a way, it's better than the Inda. Mm. Okay, so here are the last example, if you remember. In our last example, in this one, in this one, if you remember, we were talking about a shortage of liberty. Yeah, how to uh, how, how to benefit from a shortage of liberty. And then in this example, In this one, we are talking about a connection. Okay, so the first example is actually all the factors are involved. In some factors, it's just one vector, one factor that is involved. Okay, we do not know, but basically those are the factors we need to concern about. I'm just saying not necessarily all the factors will gonna appear in a certain situation. Okay, but we do need to pay attention on those three factors. And the one of them may already save your game. I hope that's clear. Okay, if that's clear, let's move on. Okay. And uh, the next one is the interesting one. All right. So basically, our focus is on the left side. So you can see why the group on the left side is at a kind of, let's say, desperate situation. <laughs> and what the goal here is to save the stick. So basically, the looks possible or impossible in your eyes. If you play B11, they are going to answer B12. I don't think you have anything further. Okay, 
I just want to remind here. Yeah, let's say this one is a slightly hard one because this one, there's one important rule. It, it is about shape. But this, let's say here, I give the real game example. When we talk about real game examples, so basically it's a situation you may face to in your own game, that is. Uh, remember, when you are at an extremely dangerous situation, it's just the same as in real life. Uh, so imagine you are in some sort of extreme situation. For example, there's an earthquake, and then you need to hide some, somewhere, uh, let's say, beneath the earth. And then there, you need to actually wait there for somebody to come, come over to save your life. Imagine that is a situation. You will actually use anything you can use in that kind of underneath space to help you to survive the next few days, right? You wouldn't really, let's say, say, hey, this one, I don't like to eat it. I don't like it, so I'm not going to eat it. You're going to use all the resources. And here, remember, you want to say what? You need to use all the resources. And uh, yeah, I can see. Uh, so here, we have some question about a cutting point at T15. That is a factor, OK? I'm saying that is a factor. And you need to combine that factor with the G11 stone to pass step number one. This one, we have several steps. Can you see a combination between G15 and G11 stone here? So can we get some sending stone from there, for example? Sending. Yeah, if it's too difficult, just to say it is too difficult, it doesn't matter, I'm going to show, okay? Um, G13 will be sent out, but G13, the problem is G13 has nothing to do with white stick. G13 is not connected with white stick, as you can. And that stick is our, actually the major target we want to save. Ah, I'm sorry. Okay, I see. It's fine. Yeah. So soon I'm. I so soon I'm gonna show about it. Okay. Yeah, but uh, yeah, just wonder if uh, someone may actually figure this out. Sure. Um, that is ambitious, but uh, okay, I hope you notice black right side group has a lot of liberties. If you look at one of these stick, not many. So uh, that can be a good dream, but uh, I don't think that can come to reality. Ah, uh, C9. Okay, let's do it step by step. Sticky tofu is uh, thinking ahead, okay? First, let's talk about G, uh, G15 cutting point. We are going to use it. We, we, we need to use all the resources. So what I'm messing with simply this one. What well, I simply this one, first let's confirm this is Sene. Because what has this Atari? And what has this PEEP? So if we play BP and what are Atari, we are connected. Yeah, you may feel like this move is doing is not doing much, but we're gonna see about that because this is just about the first step. Okay. And in the game, black plays this move. This is pretty strong move. So he's saying, you have this one, Sene, you have this Atari, but how can you fix the cut? So this one black is being offensive. Okay. And now we come to Stingy Stove C9. C9, Sene. And he's aiming at this card so to attack black left side. Okay, so black will need to defend. All right, this, this is the moment. I want to emphasize this again. Why this one, Sene? Why the attack from here? Why it's connected? If why connect here? Is Sene? How can I get that? Yes, stoke move. Eat. 
they are always the shape of here because black that center five stones is even shorter of liberty. So this moment, white is doing attacking two black stones there, and black cannot cut at E13. So black will need to get more liberties, right? Okay, and then white in the game played here. For the same reason, black can only connect because if black do the Atari, white doesn't need to answer. White just honey, Atari, pass. Right? So right, we're gonna get to save everything here. So white well, black can only connect here. Okay. And um black just connected here. Uh, let me see. Uh, so white just keep attacking. Sorry. So white keep attacking, white get out from here. Um uh, it's not impossible, but you know here, white does not be here is enough because white goal is to save himself. If white gets to save himself, for example, assuming black can do this, and white honey will save his his his, his middle group, it is good, it's good, that is already good. Yeah, so black doesn't, white doesn't need to attack black. It's the opposite, it is the black need to actually kill white. So in the game, black takes more liberties, and black cut here. So to continue this, and now you can see this already become rather complicated because the black center group is involved. Okay, and I will just show the following here. And then white connect here, as I mentioned, this is like Sunny, but this is Sunny for white escaping, black can no longer care about it because if, for example, black care about it, black group will not gonna have enough liberties to save himself. So black actually have no choice. Black needs to run. Okay. And um, after black running, now white can actually follow his plan. Yeah, Atari and Atari here. But you know here, white temporarily run off. Black didn't really give up yet. So in the game, black, mm, black push. So you can see white can still be cut off, right? Yeah, so if, for example, white block here, black cut here, and not sorry, white is cut off again. Yeah, it is messy. I agree, it is messy. But luckily here, white, this omni triangle is sunny. Because black, once again, is in shortage of liberty. If black push, that, I guess you can see this one, right? I'm not showing too fast. The letter, yes. So luckily here, white has this omni triangle SNA, and in which black need to answer, and black is doing his very best to take away the letter. Well, you can see white is still in there. <laughs> so here, it, it is still not over. White still need to play accurately, and the white next move is important. White next move is this peep. Well, then white dare play peep here, and white doesn't worry about he will be separated. Because if you do this one, white will gonna match Atari. So actually has a stone there, and white got a connection. And then he has A or B connection. So you can see here in this shape, white is repeatedly using the short liberty black shape pro. You need to repeatedly use it. Not just use once, you just use once is not enough. Yeah, so white play this team and black cannot reset. And black notice here locally he cannot solve it. So in the game, black decide I'm gonna solve that short delivery problem. Well, I'm gonna kill the bottom. Okay, here I'm just showing the game. And white notice, okay, there's no other use it for this one, so he just directly finish it. And white connect here, so finally white dragon is fine. Black get around at the bottom. 
But finally, because of the, all those has happened, not only white has saved the dragon, when white play on the top, black in their top side is captured. So in other words, uh, this is what happened in the game. To be realistic, at the end here, there's already not much black can do. Black actually needs to actually save something like this. But then at least the white will gonna save himself. Then the white basically get to save the dragon and he wouldn't lose anything. And actually, after this, you can see here, not only black, this one is not, a, not alive. There's also the card, so, so the interpreter is actually in danger. Well, this is actually uh, one of my pra practicing games. I have played back to 10 years ago with Anti, if you know Anti Turmanen, uh, the one done professional uh, from Finland, and he's currently playing in Japan. Uh, he was my student at that time. And this is our game. We played each other back to 10 years ago. Okay. This is, okay, I must tell this. Yeah, because here you are talking about V. Uh, 10 years ago, I think it's uh, May 19, 2010. Mm. Uh, here, I know that here, uh, yeah, you are talking about reading, but I want to tell you one truth. When I played this notes, I just played it. I didn't read the volume, but I know this is the only way forward. I, and I'm saying this is the importance of shape. When you have a good sense on shape, you know this is the right thing to do, even though you may not really read the volume. You don't have to read the volume. This one, it may not work, but if it doesn't work, it's not because this move is wrong. It's just because this situation, you can't save it from me. But if there's anything, let's say, if this game, you want to actually get anything out from here, it has to start from here. You're going to get this kind of sense. Our topic today is about shape. I hope here you understand. This is how important shape is. When I play this one, I didn't read it. I didn't read the following. And I don't know what I can have next. To be honest, if I'm very honest here, I can tell. Uh, when I played here, I was for a moment disappointed. No. This one, when this one happened, I was actually for a moment disappointed. I played this because I know first my dragon needs to leave. And the second, after black play here, at least if I do Atari, my bottom group would easily die. And also here, I have this Atari and this portion, my left group would easily die. I would die with four stones. And after I can kill his top side, I suddenly notice, huh, okay, I can, actually I can finish the game like this. So, simple reading, honestly, I didn't do much. Mostly, I'm doing reaction, if you know what I'm saying. So, for example, here, black push, huh, he was going to cut me off. What am I going to do here? Okay, so I have to do this one. This is probably the best I can do because I fixed that problem. Well, I'm threatening in black shorter bleeding. Okay, so black play this one. Okay, this one looks strong. So nothing works here. What I can do here? So it looks like I potentially have a stone here, isn't it? That means I, play, I can do this one, right? Okay, I hope you notice I'm doing reaction. I didn't read it. I can't. Maybe if you say, if this is a top pro, he can probably read it. But I don't think it is something at minimal that I can read that far. But I'm saying here, we don't need it. You can see here how to get this one. Yeah, as I mentioned, reaction. But it is a reaction plus shape. That's the, that's the important part. It's a reaction plus shape. Once we understand shape, you'll know that this is the only thing we can do. Okay, I hope this is understandable. <laughs> yeah, so once we understand the shape, so you know that, okay, even though I didn't really read it, I have to do this. I don't have a choice. Yeah, we will have a lot of situation like this. So many people emphasize that to you about the importance of reading. It is important, but sometimes either my reading ability is limited or I have a limited time. Assuming for now I'm in Beoyomi and I don't have time to read, you just play the shape move. Normally, it should help. 
if you have actually have watched, I'm not sure, uh, if you have some of the YouTube videos, and that is about the Japanese NHK Cup. Um, if, if you watch those videos, and you can actually see the players there, and they play, and then the uh, the recorder and the one aside, I don't know how to call that, uh, he's actually reading to you about the timing, and he count the, the time down, count the second stop there. Sometimes we are, we are in panic. Sometimes we feel the panic move. But I want to tell you, if you notice, most of the their panic move is actually not too bad. Why? They play the shape move too. So yeah, this is actually another way. You actually want to learn more about shape. And in this kind of case, what is a shape? You watch those NHK Cup video, watch those games. You may not really understand those games much, but you will actually regularly after you watch more, you're gonna learn more about shape. That is more or less my way. <laughs> Okay, so this one is the, also about the shuttle of liberty, it's about connection. Hmm. Okay, and finally, yeah, let's say here we have talked a lot about connection, and we have talked a lot, a lot about the uh, shuttle of liberty. Finally, let's talk a little bit about eye shape. And uh, regarding eye shape, I want to talk about it together with the left and death shape. Okay. And here, before we, uh, yeah, I give the example, I first want to ask you questions here. Actually, we have, a, yeah, let's say, I think most of us Q players here, that's actually not too bad, because then that means uh, you probably still remember about how you have just started playing golf, how people was teaching you here, and how, what did they tell you about, let's say, ice? Do you remember what did they say? What ice is like? What I thought I like. Mm. Anyone remember that? It is fine. <laughs> Maybe just uh, how, do you, how do you describe eyes? Imagine I'm a beginner. You talk to me. Jeff, eyes in gold is like, please. <laughs> Space. Hmm. Surrounded space. Hmm. You know, when you speak like this, I'm pretty sure beginners can easily meet me to understand you. Someone told me what an I was space space that your opponent stone. Oh, that's much better. That's much better. So a space that the opponent cannot play a stone. That actually means Look on the circle one spot, right? Imagine you are circling two spots on your sur surrounded space with two spots. He can in theory put a stone in there. So first it need to be one spot. Okay. And it is the one spot, it is completely circled, which at the very least we need to recover recur the four, which means a penalty shape, right? At the very least we need that. Okay, so I, actually I'm gonna show here on the board. Mm. We need to at least have a rows in order to circle one spot and the opponent cannot put stone in. But we wouldn't say in theory this is enough because then if the opponent has occupied like A, B, C, we know that he can capture on this code, right? So he can enter the, ten, the tenant spot. So we know that in theory, in order to consolidate this spot, a, B, C, D, we need to occupy or control at least three out of four when we have a nine, right? Okay, I want to tell you here, in practice, normally we don't talk about A, B, C, D. Two reasons why, in practice, when we come to a penalty shape, it can easily be the other one just cannot enter some of those A, B, C, D spot. Anyway, okay, I still mark it. Okay. So you actually have a control it already, or you just already have a stone there naturally. In some cases, maybe you don't, but I want you to imagine, for example, here, like say, yeah, with penalty shape, I'm gonna play A. 
That means that you give the opponent the artillery and the push so many forces moves in which you are in shortage of liberty. Maybe in the end, he will get this turn in eye, but he can easily develop his eye shape elsewhere. So, to the one who want to actually attack the eye, or let's say to kill, is not worth it. So he may just say, "Okay, I admit you have this tendon eye, but I'm gonna try. To, I'm gonna try my best to keep you just this eye, but you don't have any other eye shapes." It's more like that. What I'm trying to say here is, in practice, normally when you have a poverty shape, you have an eye. Normally, I'm saying I, I don't rule out some uh, exceptions, but normally that is the case. Okay, then we come to some uh, work. So we want to build an eye, we need at least a punky shape. Then how to build a punky shape? I guess that's easier, right? We need first one to build a punky shape. Before that, we need a tiger shape first. <laughs> okay, and then we go a bit further. How to get a tiger shape here? That's easy, I guess. Then we need either a Kozumi shape first or a jump shape first. Yes, we are on the basis. Actually, it's just like a family. Let's say uh, everyone has two grandpa and one father, right? So this is a baby. The Panuki is a baby. His father is a tiger. Okay, and his two grandfather is Kozumi and jump. Okay, without the grandfather, there wouldn't be the father, and uh, without the father, there wouldn't be the son. We need to build it little by little, gradually. Be patient. Okay. Okay, so with this theory to support us, now let's come to the example and see if we can figure it out. Okay. Yeah. It's another example from the pro game, and in the game, a black plays this clan, and you can see white on the left side is kind of in difficulty, right? So question is, what white can do here to help this group to live? Everyone is talking about B9. I want to remind that B9, you create one tiger shape and one Kosumi shape. But that one tiger shape can immediately be destroyed. So, for example, you do this one. He can immediately do this. And your that tiger shape is immediately destroyed. Only as that, you do need to one by one build it. But please remember, yeah, it's the same as in real life. Here, your task is to build a house. If you say, I just build it by myself, well, that can actually take days, weeks. And especially, you know, you have an opponent. When you are building the house, he's destroying the house. We know in real life, it is more efficient to build or to destroy. Who is going to do it faster, in other words? I guess you know that, right? Yes. But therefore, if you say, I concentrate on building myself, you, yeah, and at the same time, you destroy, and I don't care, you are guaranteed not to be successful. Therefore, when you are doing the, doing the building work, please remember, you need his help. You need the opponent's help. But he's the opponent. We know that he wouldn't volunteer to help. You have to force him. So to force him may say, you have a problem. You need to defend. You need to point a finger to the opponent, and that actually will gonna maximize your chance to build little by little. Okay. You are talking about G9. I want to remind that here, after Black Clam, 
uh, right that uh, uh, Eli Stone only has two liberties left. One second, da, 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 please. Hmm. Uh, sticky tofu, that's better, but uh, that wouldn't supply you enough resources. Then we're gonna give you some resources, but that wouldn't be enough. Oh, uh, kind of. It depends on what you're gonna play. Yeah, Black doesn't need to maintain his connection. Uh, he cannot let you escape. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess this one is harder. Okay. So okay. Earlier, I have mentioned to you about to build I ship, and I hope you now you realize when we talk about eleven. Left and death shape or shape about eyes is different from really at the normal video game shape we have talked about. Okay. But still, let's say, once again, this is not a problem. This is like a real game situation. In a real game situation, we need to consider about defend and attack. And when also here, if I have mentioned, if one just purely say, I defend myself, you can hardly make it. Okay, okay, I'm gonna show what happened in the game. Okay, so my first move is actually still a middle game shape. We should never forget the opponent is can, can still be in trouble. So we start with push because we should never forget those three stones is in shorter of liberty. And he dare not cut us off because we're gonna letter him. Right? Yeah, therefore, when I push, black will need to defend. And so to keep white in, now white needs to go back. Because if you still insist, he cut and connect. Now black, white cannot ladder black anymore. And white will gonna be in enormous difficulty on the left. Yeah, so now white need to defend. And black block it. Okay, can you find the shape? Next move is crucial. Why to play the next move correctly? Why it may survive? Next move is wrong. It's directly. Wrong. <laughs> I'm not certain because that's true. <laughs> mm. I know you want to play B9, but the moment we play B9, he will gonna directly make you a downplay, right? C12, that's the same. He will gonna immediately make you a downplay. Yes, dumplings. So you do have so here, you know, I know dumpling is delicious. The problem here is we will be the dumplings ourselves and we wanna eat it. So we don't have a choice but to do this ourselves. Yes, this is the only way. So like this, we well, get more liberties and consolidate a tiger shape. Yes, and meanwhile, we are actually staring at a black problem here, shortage of liberation and A and B. You can see here, attack and defense happens at the same time. It doesn't go just one. You can't just say, I do pure defending. I hope you understand and keep this in mind in the future in your games that when you are playing a game and you are doing pure defending, in case if you are doing pure defending and pure defending for in your games, likely you lose the game in the end. Yeah, even if you are doing defending, you need to threat the opponent and make him worry, then actually your defending work become easier automatically. Yeah. Okay, because here what is threatening at A and B, Black will need to defend. Okay, next move is still important.
uh, I understand. Yeah, let's say you never expect. That's what I'm saying here. Uh, let's say here, white is playing very strong on the left side. Uh, and in order to separate black, which put, he, uh, put that itself into a very difficult position here. And uh, when we are in a left and death situation, we cannot, yeah, let's say I know uh, this shape is ugly. Normally we say this is ugly, but in less than that, we can't care about if it's ugly or not. We do whatever it helps. And here, we need this one to consolidate the tiger shape to make sure last one we play B9, we get one eye. And I will tell you, I really have mentioned, this is from our pro games. <laughs> yeah, here I'm actually showing a pro game and it's volume. And next one is still important. Okay, maybe I will just directly show. Okay. Please remember, normally people attack empty triangle. We say empty triangle is terrible shape. How can you do that? I'm saying empty triangle can be really useful when you are at left and death on the edge of left and death. Because this was this kind of empty triangle supplies a Kosumi shape that we may desperately need. So you don't look at it as an empty triangle. You look at it as a panoki shape, sorry, a Kosumi shape that we need in order to gradually build the panoki shape. So we gotta build it, black lobby. With tiger, black has to block us. We get the panoki shape, right? So in this way, we get the panel shape that we need. And then black attire here, this group come to call to live. You may say, I paid that much effort, it just come to call to live. But please never forget, this call black is under burden as well. I mean, if white lives, then well, how about black this? So this is actually uh, his pressure. If one leaves, it's not like, for example, on the board elsewhere, for example, can black get maybe A and B two stones? You can get it. Then why do you want to get them at the bottom left corner? Black that group is, is dead. So even though that just a get a code, it's not too bad. Okay. And in the game, white already has started preparing for after I win the call, what will happen? So he push first and then make the call because you know that he has the call threat. This call threat. Okay. He cannot win the call, so he capture here. Why to capture this one and then what is alive? And a lovely black still get the so black came out to make his honor book to live. This is the end. Okay, this is the end of this local variation, kind of. Okay, now we'll, now we'll look at this. Maybe earlier white has played so many, we say, ugly shape just to survive. But look at this now, is this too bad? Yeah, that doesn't look too bad, right? White leaves, and actually uh, after this, one live in Sene, uh, yeah, because of black, we will need to live there. And then after that, white gets a peak here, and uh, then white jump to develop the bottom. And uh, yeah, we can see black next, black next told us. After this one, white is actually saying, I can potentially take away your this side, and next one, I'm gonna cut. You have two groups that is not alive, and that forces black to play this one to kind of defend the cutting point. Yeah, I agree. It looks pretty bad after the clan. But you know, this is similar as it is in real life. Sometimes the, what we may have experienced in our life. Let's say they are always difficult moment here. But we need to endure and overcome this difficult time. The bright, the brightness is not far away on, on the front of us. But let's say when the difficult moment happens, we endure. And here you can see what did they endure. And he go back. Yeah, you can see all those moves are not so beautiful. He's, yeah, what is he enduring? This one is not so beautiful. 
this kind of goal to live, not so beautiful at all. But always, it's a difficult time you endure, and a past a difficult time, and then it will be a bright life next. Yes, you can try, of course. And especially in fighting situation there, your sense of shape will be decisive. You can see here, what has the sense, sense of shape? Well, this player is uh, a famous player that, uh, uh, let's say, in the game, I mean, I think I in the game, I have a scene from her game. I don't recall a single game that is, how should I say that, clean? peaceful, I don't recall one. So she is very used to, for example, play this kind of shape, so to seek for a group to live. And that is why to me, this is the best example when we talk about life and death shape. I think her name is the Ueno Asami. So he's, she's the um, uh, female Honimbo in Japan, the current female Honimbo. And this is actually from well, for a recent game. Yeah, why well, not something? Mm. Yeah. Okay. So this is this example, and let's come to the one last one. One last one. The last one is fun. Okay. I yeah. So this is also about shape, but the last example is male. It is fun, and I want to show the last one. Here and we had some fun, and also to see how the professional players and handle shape in their game, and then we finish the lecture today. Okay. Mm. What would happen after R three? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, F nine. From F nine, D nine, D nine, F ten, D ten. T ten, uh, C twelve, ah, uh, C twelve, D eleven, C thirteen. Uh, I think here the order is a little bit problematic because here you want to do this. Yes, he may actually do this one, right? You can't do this one because you push. You don't have a leader. So this one can be problematic. And that is why in the game, why I play this one first. So to make sure I will get this one, to prevent black to get that one instantly. Hope that's clear. <laughs> yeah. So here, yeah, this is the one step by another. You need to accomplish this penalty shape. You miss one. You cannot uh, actually accomplish this penalty shape. So right, yeah, let's say what the order might have played in the game make per make make a perfect sense actually. Mm. Okay, yeah, let's come to the last of fun example. Mm. Okay, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, this one last of fun example. I need to do it carefully. Okay. So uh, we come to this, uh, yeah, we come to this situation, and uh, this is a complicated fighting at the very start. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, here, at the bottom, there's some uh, quiz work everybody wants to do, but uh, this is a professional game, and we know that prof uh, professional players will only do those moves when necessary. Um, yeah, so uh, let's not think about those. I know that those squeezing moves exist anytime. The focus here is standard. Okay, so here we know that most people will gonna do the artery. But here, black happens not to have the lead. And uh, black is not so happy about this result. Yeah. Okay, so, um, uh, this one is relatively difficult. So this one I will directly show because this is actually the fine that, okay? In the game, at this moment, Black played this one. Sorry, uh, I just clicked already, sorry. Yeah, you can see here, we are in the middle game, and the empty triangle here is actually the right move. 
okay? And the intention is clear. This one look like it is helping black white to actually seal black in. But actually that's not the case because white is in shortage of liberty like this, black cut, okay? And uh, no matter how black also, white also here, turn away and push here. And what we're gonna cut from here, but this are turning and the right select. So this will be captured. And also by the right side group will be captured. Yes, uh, I'm sorry, I understand that this example can be difficult and that's why I'm just showing. And I can show this one again. So here I'm in triangle. In what in what to block, this is a trap. Okay, and then we cut here. Also emphasize, every triangle is normally considered as a bad shape. But here, when we talk about a shortage of liberty, in this case, and also when we talk about eye shapes, it can be considered. Remember, when we talk about liberty, when we talk about eye shapes, this kind of move can be considered, especially when you talk about eyes, because really I have introduced the uh, triangle is not necessarily bad when we talk about eyes, because that is considered as a Kosumi shape. So that's the first step we want to get, uh, let's say on our way eventually when we want to get eventually a penalty shape. Okay, yeah, so here, so black push out here. If white cut, they are tarry, run, and capture. So this is his trap. And uh, many people is actually asking me here. So how about the one to push here? You can just run and not be, isn't that exactly the same as this shape? Yeah, you may feel like I did nothing. Actually, I, I turned to a different variation already because this is a variation. So this variation, what is the difference? Actually, no difference. It's exactly the same, right? And I will tell you there is a difference. And there's a small difference, pro players care. Because at this moment, black will instead honey. White can only not be here, right? And now he wants to double honey, in which white can only not only triangle and won't he connect. So compared to earlier, white can get this novel. Now those three stones is in shortage of liberty, in which black can use to help his group to escape well threat by the red side. So black is gonna get more resources in it by getting the double honey at J7. Yeah, so here, that is a function of this ampli triangle. Sorry, black with ampli triangle. So this is slightly better. And in this kind of attack and defense situation, this slightly better can be crucial. So here, yeah, the, uh, that's basically what I'm saying. This one is serving for both attack and defense. Yeah, it's defending itself and also threatening to attack white. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, let's move on because this game, there's a lot of fun stuff has happened. Uh, let's move on here. And now I'm going to directly move to, forward to this one. I'm going to move to this moment. Okay. This one is not about the next move. It's, a, it's not about, okay, the shape move. It is rather about, okay, what do you think about right, this red side group? Do you think it is in danger? Or do you think it can die? Sure, okay, I will wait a bit.
If you are talking about this one, I'm sure here black we're gonna do this one. Because black goal is to capture the dragon, so top side doesn't matter. If this is what you are talking about. So that's not what black did in the game. I just want to repeat what I said here. One of the task is to make sure his dragon is alive. If his dragon is alive, he's winning the game. And then whatever he got on the board, it doesn't matter. Uh, I guess you are probably a little bit confused or tired for, yeah, for, about this lecture. I'm going to show actually pretty simple. Fairplay has mentioned already. So now this is timing. So what else? Okay. Yeah, so this one is uh, directly asking for the center eye and black ticket. And white get this one. And now white already have one eye on the right. And black cannot care about the right side cutting point because it doesn't miss eye shape. And the black went crazy for this. Okay, and I want to show why the next move he push and cut. And this move, this one basically the game is finished. Okay, and this is very interesting, and I will show why. Because you know, have black Atari here, and white. Okay, no exchange doesn't matter. What immediately did this one? Atari connect, and this moment black take. Shall we ask about this question? Why we cannot do this? Can anyone figure out? Let's 
sequence. But, uh, I say that's slightly accurate. Yeah, frankly, that's slightly accurate. This one is correct. And after that, don't hardly go for the cut. Only first to ask the question. Yeah, because uh, if you come there first and then do this, your dragon is alive, but you lose something more. Okay, and in case he do this, now it cut. Yeah, actually, those stones can be lettered. Normally, but no, this is an Atari. So, can we have the imagination here? <laughs> those two stones is in charge of livery, and this dragon is in charge of livery. And you can see this one, the player had paid attention already. That I had about this potential shortage of livery. Yeah. Yeah, tell from here. And uh, this one, but not the same. There is no way for black to save those two. Right? For example, like I say, a tiger. Let's throw it in. A tiger. A tiger, right? Yeah, or if why if black to jump, it does a push, cut. So because of that, that so I can I'm thinking now let's see why why decent here. Because after a target, no, I play black also realize there's no way to kill. Okay. But uh, you can see this variation relies on cut here, a target, and we know this by selling. So someone might actually ask, so how about black ambi triangle here? Yeah, this is our question, right? But then it is actually also pretty easy because we already know that this one's threat to live. And black will need to answer on this side, right? This we're gonna give this white as sunny, this move as sunny, and then Atari from here. I don't know, it's very easy, right? This one we are threatening capture. This door or block. Yeah, I guess no, it is very clear, right? So, yeah, so actually, uh, that is why actually for very, very long, actually, you can see the center dragon is just like this. Black didn't really do anything to kill because Black doesn't, doesn't feel like he can kill here anyway. Yeah, once again, if you say, did they read it? I don't think they read it because it's not necessary. This shape uh, is shouldn't be while it's alive. And uh, it only come to when black tries to kill while they say, okay, now I start reading. Before that, you don't need to. Yeah, because here, let's say you just need to have a good sense of shape. So one knows I'm alive. That is why in the game you can see, after he attached, nobody hit a key. And for very long in this game, he never did anything on that. And it is fine. I'm pretty sure you if you ask him, hey, have you noticed later in the game? Later in the game after this one, okay, we can actually use the cutting point from here, and it is short of liberty, so we can leave. I'm pretty sure he didn't read that, but it's unnecessary. Okay, and uh, this is why that this is again what I want to answer. I mentioned about it earlier. You want to be good at shape. Okay, you need to have the good sense on the three parts I have mentioned in the middle game. Okay, and they are eye shapes, liberties, and connections. Okay, those are the factors here. And once you have, and you can see here actually among those examples that I have given, in fact, among those, the most important factor is. Liberties. Once you have a good sense on those, uh, yeah, on those, you, you will be able to find the shape more. And that can actually help you to save you a lot of time and effort on reading. Because we know that once you play the correct shape, sometimes you don't have to read it. You just know this is the right line. And you know it's something that you want to You want to know you might know this is the right line. I hope, I hope that's clear. Okay. 
questions. Um, it is important. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, there's something I cannot possibly control. <laughs> sorry. Well, yeah, and I've mentioned about shape, about video game shape. There are three major factors you need to concern about. They are eye shapes, liberties, and connections. Okay. And the most important one, as you can see from the examples, it is liberties. Okay. And once you have a good sense on shape, you can find the shape move. I hope that can actually help you to save some time and effort in your game. And so you don't have to read. Yeah, because you, then you just know this is the shape move. This should be right. And you don't have to read it. it you only need to read it when it comes to, okay, later it comes to some, some sort of complication. Then I started reading it. And there you actually might, for example, fall apart. Some, some, some of you think it's that. But you know, let's say if the shape move you have played is right, I can guarantee to you, yeah, let's say that end result is not because of the shape. You understand me? It is likely some of your forming variation, you have done something wrong. But the shape move, if the shape is right, you didn't do anything wrong and you don't have to read from there. Is that clear? All right. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah, that's basically everything I want to tell about this lecture. And uh, I hope you have learned something about shape. I just want to emphasize, however, to learn about shape is actually a long way to go. Okay, today I have mentioned about some theories and how, yeah, the method you'll find the shape. My recommendation is, however, you're going to keep making pro games, just as I mentioned earlier, for example, those NHK Cup games. You keep reading those games and from those games, the further get the sense on shape. Okay, and after a quite a long while, you keep reading those pro games. Those are going to be going to foster your feeling on shape together with those kind of theories. Okay, and I hope you're going to enjoy having, let's say, having some good shape in your game and to partner the opponent launching each kind of shape really in your games. And there, hopefully, you can bring some victories. Okay. Yeah, that's. Okay. That's probably it. We're going to finish here today then. And uh, I'm looking forward to talk to you and you guys again probably in a couple of months in our next lecture then. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Talk to you later. See you. Thank you.